Hi, this is Shane Skinner with Devadime, recording another WordPress video tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to use the food and drink menu plugin uh, to set up a restaurant menu. We're working on a site here where we've built their uh, breakfast and lunch menu, and we're going to add in a fake uh, dinner menu item to give you this tutorial. So first thing you would do is hover over the menus section um, in the toolbar, uh, sidebar, once you've installed the plugin. And we're going to create the menu sections first, actually. So we'll click on menu sections. And then we're going to create a dinner entree section. And of course, this could be sides, it could be desserts, whatever kind of section you'd like it to be. In the description, um, many themes will actually show the description of the menu sections in the theme if you wanted to. So, you know, we might put um, all entrees include fries and the vegetable of the day some type of a description of that section and then we'll add the new menu section and as you can see it saves it right away for dinner entrees and then we're going to go create the menu so if we hover over the menus item and uh, click on menus you can see we already have our breakfast and lunch so now we're just going to make dinner so we'll click on Add Menu. And we're going to call this the Dinner Menu. And then you just have to take the section down here and drag the section into the column. And as you can see, you have the option of having two columns. So if you have several sections um, in a menu, you can you know, you go ahead and use two columns. We're just going to make the one section for this tutorial. So I'll leave the dinner entrees in the first column. And then we'll go ahead and publish that menu. And then the next thing we have to do is start adding in our items. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on menu items. And we'll click on Add Menu Item. And then adding an item is similar to just you know, creating a, a post or a page um, using Gutenberg. So you would add your title. And then you would add your description here. You can do your focus key phrase if you have an SEO plugin such as Yoast installed. You would click over, click in the background so you're not in the title or the paragraph section. Click in the background, and then you get the menu here for the item. So you go ahead and add the price in. You could choose the order of the post, just like you can with posts or pages. If you have a picture of the uh, the dish, you can go ahead and uh, add the picture to it. And then you would just add in the menu section that you want this to appear in. And then publish. So that quickly, we've created a dinner menu, um, a dinner entree section, and a delicious looking bacon cheeseburger menu item. So the last step is just to create the dinner menu page to display it. So we're going to go ahead and cover over, uh, hover over pages and click on Add New. And then we're going to create our uh, dinner page. And then if you search the blocks, you'll actually see that the menu plugin has uh, blocks for showing an entire menu, just a section if you want, or just a single item. So we're going to go ahead and click on Menu. And then we'll select the dinner menu. You can see the items that are included, as well as our description here. And then we'll click on Publish. And if we view our new page, we'll see our menu title, 
we'll see our menu uh, section title. We have the description. We have the uh, item, the description, and the price. And that's all you need to do to create uh, a menu using the food and drink menu plugin. Thank you for watching. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. You can find more videos and articles on our website, devadime.com. And feel free to join us on social media. You can find at Devadime on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you did find this video helpful, I would love for you to let me know on Twitter. Just tweet me your feedback with the hashtag WordPress video tutorial. Thanks.